I want to do a tutorial about the envelope follower. So uh, we're going to take the, 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 the output of one device to the AD inputs on the montage in the back left and right and we got it coming out to 1 8 inch stereo phono plug which is going to go into the back of this Bastel Instruments Micro Granny which uh, if you've never heard of they're pretty neat and fun uh, and relatively uh, affordable I'll put the link to Bastel Instruments in the description but what I'm going to do is going to plug this in to the output uh, turn it on we should have some sounds here now we're going to start with a new part so hit category search in it and we'll just start a normal AWM2 part just like AWM2 and then hit the back arrow that's up top it sounds like this basic piano so hit where it says no sign uh, edit and I'm gonna take element one here and put it on OB saw you guessed it and once you have that selected just go ahead and hit this button right here and that'll bring us back to our element common page just hit home and now you're looking at in it normal AWN2 and we have um, OBSAW assigned to that channel okay so now over here on the top left hand of your keyboard of the montage it says A slash D input and there's a button underneath it that says on off you want to go ahead and push on and just beneath it is a knob that says gain and has a peak meter so I'm just going to set this to loop and play a sound here now you can hear that okay so that's the sound that's coming in through my input so what I want to do is I want to come over to the part here and click on where it says no assign and then push edit edit Come down to mod control, hit control assign, and where it says mod wheel, the display filter is basically saying that I'm gonna I'm about to assign a control function to this mod wheel. So if I put like a cutoff, if I put cutoff here in this little plus uh, part parameter, element parameter, cutoff, adjustments made to the the mod wheel will affect cutoff if my filter and envelope are set appropriately. As I turn the mod wheel, the, the, the uh, as I turn the mod wheel, the cutoff goes up and down. Okay, so back to your common page, mod control, and then it, you, you just literally hit mod control and then control assign, and this screen comes up. Instead of the mod wheel controlling the cutoff. What I want to do is I want to have the envelope follower control the cutoff. So you come up here to display filter because when you pick the display filter, it has every kind of knob and different source of modulation that's into it. So whenever you click on it and up here comes the side, right down here at the bottom is a little box with a bunch of triangles in it and this will show you the controllers that you can assign so if you'll notice you'll have MS lane 1, 2, 3, 4 that's for your motion sequencing but what I want to do is get the envelope follower coming in and if you'll notice all the way over here on the right hand side of your screen on the last column there's one that says envelope follow AD go ahead and click that so basically what's going to happen is here I can show you the, some of the things here I'm going to turn the game up here Okay, so with that sound going on there, I'm going to show you. 
We come over here, and if you'll notice next to whenever you select an envelope follower AD, you can click on the little button that says Edit Envelope Follower, and you'll see that there's a there's a level input that you can select for AD, and it'll show you the input levels that are coming in, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now I want the cutoff to be affected by it, and the problem is is that whenever I have uh, the input level up, you can hear it. I might not necessarily want to hear that. So what you want to do is you want to go back home. Once you get to home, you click on mixing. And then you come over here to this column on the right that says A to D, and you turn your dry level down. So your signal is still going to it, and the envelope follower will still be working on your part, but you won't hear the audio that's coming in from your external source. So go ahead and click on no assign here again and we'll go back to editing the, the elements and the common parts here. And you'll notice whenever I hit mod control here, mod control, control assign, that envelope follower selected as my modulation source up here. And now all I need to do is add destinations. So I'm going to add the destination of cutoff. And that's under element and then uh, the cutoff is down here on the third. There. So when you hit that, um, it's going to be it's going to be following the incoming audio. So let's see. I'm going to change it to another one. So you can hear the modulation that's occurring. Okay, so uh, well I can just go back home and go to the mixing page and show you so you kind of hear. So you can basically make it do any kind of sound you really want in that regard. You can send it to uh, different different places like, um, we'll send it to like some effects. So if you click on no assign, that little button there brings up your edit screen. Uh, you can put some, let's see, let's put some effects on it maybe. So now that we have this, we can come over to, let's go, go back, we can go into edit here, mod control, and then I can add uh, some parameters from the delay that I just set up, delay time, feedback level, um, wet dry, So, okay, thanks for watching, and uh, that's it for my envelope follower tutorial, and I'll see you next time.